Praise God, beloved shepherds of God. We are entering a new season. As you know, we are moving into the resurrection of the Lord and we are moving into a complete new season. And I had a word to share with you. This has helped me and I believe, I want to release it because I believe that it could help some of you out there. So, um, first of all, I mean the job of a shepherd is definitely not an easy job it's definitely not an easy job it it is it can be too overwhelming sometimes and that's the problem it can be too overwhelming because that is what happened with Moses it was very overwhelming to handle people and especially in times where people uh, are not supporting you enough you know, you're not getting enough support from the people. You're not getting enough support sometimes from the family, sometimes from your loved ones. And might be you feel you're in a place where you're trying to put all things together all by yourself, you know. And that is what happened to Moses, okay, because he, um, his people did not support him. Okay, they began to rebel against him. They did not support him and might be some of them who didn't rebel but were not of any help, right? But what happened was Moses was too overwhelmed with all these things. And because he was so overwhelmed, he lost his own destiny. Because when you are overwhelmed, beloveds, when you're overwhelmed, you cannot understand God. You know, that connection is automatically lost, you know, you can't, you can't grow in the anointing because at all the time your mind is just focused on, you know, the issues around you because you're so overwhelmed, right? So that is what happened with Moses. See, we can say, yes, I pray and I do this and I do that, but we are human at the end of it and certain situations do get overwhelming, right? So Moses was overwhelmed. But the problem was that because of that, he lost his own destiny. He could not enter the promised land because as he was overwhelmed, he disobeyed God. He did not understand. He didn't do it deliberately, but because there was so much of turmoil inside of him, he did not understand and he unconsciously disobeyed God. Okay. And that is something that can happen to any of us because being a shepherd, like I said, is not easy. It's not easy. We're carrying the burden not only of our own lives, of our own families, but we're carrying the burden of a lot of other people who have been given to us and we are responsible for them. All right. So let me just give you this example of David, this, this, this revelation that helped me in my life. Like when, when the Lord revealed this to me, this was of utmost help for my life and I felt liberated after that. So I want to just share this with you. So David was anointed three times. David had three different anointing, okay? The first time he was anointed in the secret, all right? When Samuel came and he anointed, it was done. Not before people, it was just his family. Then after that, David grew that anointing. He grew out of that anointing, okay? He became greater and God said that he deserves another anointing. And God anointed that this time, it was the people who anointed David, all right? Watch it. This time, it was the people who anointed David, all right and that is what happens in our own lives when we became pastors when we became shepherds up you know people came in people join our churches people came in they supported us they came in all right but that is not the end of it that was just the second anointing beloveds now i feel in this season we are moving into the third anointing okay into the third anointing the third anointing is very important because the second anointing just was to make David a king over Judah. All right. For seven years, he was king over Judah and that was not God's fullness of God's plan for him. Okay. Judah was not God's ultimate plan for him, but God's ultimate plan was that he should become the king of complete Israel. He should be king of Israel. Okay. Of the whole of Israel. So for that, there was another anointing that was needed. Another anointing was needed. That was a third anointing. And this time, it was not the people. It was not just one man. Okay, it was no secret anointing. But it was the anointing of the elders. The elders came and anointed him. Alright. And this goes to say that the third anointing is the priestly anointing. 
beloveds the third anointing is the priestly anointing and you will require the priestly anointing to move into your new season and can i just tell you one thing when you know certain times god takes away all help from you okay you won't find the right people to help you around you won't find enough help coming from your family you won't find enough help coming from the people who used to help you they will leave you okay but this is needed because god is saying that when you reach your third anointing at that time it's the priestly anointing that needs to come upon you okay you can't expect help or um, any kind of favors coming from people around you because god says that i myself will be your help okay do you remember when god said that you know you can distribute the portions among all the tribes but the priestly tribe uh, you will not give them any portion because i will be the portion i will be their portion in the land of the living yes that's what god said that i myself will be their portion in the land of the living and now has come the time beloveds where god is saying that you need no other help i myself will be your help in this season whatever you need the miracles that you need everything that you need the patterns have changed it's not coming from the places that you expect but it's coming from me directly every help you need every favor you need to for your uprising it's coming from me directly because this is the time of your priestly anointing god is not going to allow hands of men to get in between god says this time i'm going to do it directly it's going to be a direct contact between you and me it's going to come directly from me this time it's not going to come from places or people that you expected so beloveds i just have this word for you you're moving into a very very great season because you know what i hear i hear the noise of the i hear the voice of the abundance of rain of the abundance of rain okay listen the prophet of god did not hear did not literally hear the the noise of the abundance of rain but it was in his spirit and i sense in my spirit the noise the no noise and the voice of the abundance of rain okay i i sense it in my spirit for you and i believe i believe that in this new season you're going to see that abundance of rain because you're already listening you're already hearing it in your spirit i'm sure the spirit of the lord is already has already begun to move you so in this season just rise up rise up change your strategy change the way you perceive things okay uproot yourself from this realm because there is nothing in this realm that's going to help you okay bring yourself into the third dimension and keep your eyes on god keep your eyes on god because your help is coming from god okay don't be disappointed don't get distracted you know doesn't matter because you know the i feel the people or whatever you are expecting help from they don't have the capacity to help you because your anointing has gone to the next level and this time if any help that you would require or anything that would be useful to you is only going to come from god because to match your anointing in this level god has to show up himself so i just want to leave you with this word that get excited about the season that is about to come get excited god is about to do new things that are beyond your understanding beyond your capacity just open yourself to the new move of god stop getting disappointed with people because it's not their fault it's only because your anointing has grown so much that they cannot match up all right so just be joyful and be expectant of the lord beloveds be expectant because this is the time you're going to resurrect in a complete different way this time the resurrection and the way you're going to move into your new season is going to be completely different and i believe this for you so stay blessed beloved shepherd beloved shepherds of god you're doing a great job continue doing that and i pray for the lord's strength and grace to be upon you at all times in jesus name